Both Excel and Word have long offered users the ability to add comments to documents. This feature is particularly useful when you are reviewing someone else's work and you want to communicate suggestions for improving the document without necessarily overriding the existing work. Beginning with the 2013 release, you can now add comments to PowerPoint presentations and in this tip, you will learn just how easy it is to take advantage of this feature. To add comments to a presentation, first click where you want the comment to appear. Then choose New Comment on the Review tab of the ribbon. Doing so opens a comment bubble in the comment pane on the far right side of the screen. In the comment bubble, or balloon, simply enter the comment. Comments and their replies will appear in nested windows, similar to their appearance in Word, making it easy to follow a thread of conversation regarding a particular item of interest in PowerPoint. Further, you can hide the comment pane on the right side of the window by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner, or by clicking Show Comments on the Review tab of the ribbon. You can click the Show Comments icon to toggle the comment pane back and forth. Additionally, on the Review tab of the ribbon, notice the ability of adding additional comments, deleting comments, backing up to the previous comment, or moving forward to the next comment. You also have those same navigation capabilities from within the comment pane on the right side of the window. For those who need to collaborate with others on a PowerPoint presentation, including those who need to review presentations built by others, the commenting feature add to PowerPoint 2013 provides a familiar and very easy to use mechanism for marking up a PowerPoint document. As you upgrade to Office 2013, be sure to take advantage of this tool. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.